In Luke 6, 46, it has a verse that really should convict all of us. I know it convicts me. I'll raise my hand. I'm number one guilty on this. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? I don't know about you, but if that Bible verse doesn't convict you, I don't know what will. Because quite often, on a daily basis, if you filter out all of these intrusive thoughts and you focus and you meditate on the Word of God and you contemplate on the thoughts that God has put in your heart, you're going to feel conviction. You're going to feel it, okay? You're going to have a mental clarity enough to know that when you're doing something that you should not do, the Holy Spirit will convict you. But then comes the aspect of will we react to that conviction, right? When that conviction hits us, are we going to act on it or are we going to simply keep on walking and say, tomorrow I'll do it. Next week I'll start. Next week I'll begin to read the word. Next week I'll begin to pray some more. Next month I'll start to fast. Whatever God is convicting you on, this sentence today should convict us all. And why call ye me Lord, Lord? and do not the things which I say. Listen, in this life, you're going to deal with a lot of difficulties. It's not easy. I get it. Okay? But there's simplicity in Jesus Christ. Go back to the fundamentals. Go back to the basics found in Jesus and start doing the things that he's calling you to do. Otherwise, you're going to keep on the same path that you're keeping on and a little leaven, leaven it the whole lump. Let's take some action in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, thank you for convicting our hearts. Thank you for reminding us to take that action. Thank you for reminding us about obedience. Thank you for reminding us that your Holy Spirit teaches us all things. And that includes to walk in your commandments and in your statutes and in your ways. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for setting us free. If there are brothers and sisters struggling today, they're just plain old struggling today. Help them in the name of Jesus understand that you are able. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. It's always an honor to spend some time with you. You can share this video. That'll be awesome. Text it to a co-worker, a neighbor, or a friend. And as always, thanks uh, for considering supporting this ministry. God bless you and your whole family.